Ah, the camera's blurry. If you're watching this video, this is your sign. I'm sorry if your parents don't want you to do it, but if you want to do it, do it. When I, when I elevate you, yeah. higher than you've ever been. So like when you make that other ship from promethazine, on a mental and physical tip, you be my highness, reciprocate, cause everything you give to me is priceless. No other one before you when I put that on my light seat. You know your girl will trade up the word of be your wife. Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ramona Rihanna and today I will be doing a little update on my belly piercing. It's been a year. So I got my belly button pierced February 11th, 2020. Went after school with my friend. We got our belly buttons done. I, um, I'll try to insert a clip of when it happened. Honestly, the pain was like a seven out of ten if i look back and see because like it had me a little you know crippled but yeah it was it wasn't too too bad i feel like my rook hurt more than my belly button if you didn't watch my three month update video check that out my mom didn't want me to get my belly button pierced which is kind of annoying you know it was a fight back and forth to get it done the real reason why she didn't want me to get my belly button pierced which i forgot to include in my three month update was because when i was younger i had an umbilical hernia so i had belly button surgery when i was about three or four to get the umbilical hernia removed or whatever they did down there so my mom didn't want me to trouble my belly button because she doesn't want anything bad to happen which is understandable but like i if you see my belly button my um incision well the stitches that i had for to close up it is my lower belly button not the upper and i pierced the upper so i don't really see the actual problem if i'm avoiding that area Personally, I had an umbilical hernia and I still have my belly button pierced. Most people that don't do the surgery have their belly button pierced. And, you know, it gives them the illusion of an any. My belly button is hairy, so I'm sorry if y'all don't like seeing all the hairiness on my belly button. But who you shaving my belly button? It is winter. What am I doing shaving my belly button for? So yeah, I got my belly button pierced a year ago. But sleeping on it was really uncomfortable for like the first couple of days. But like by day five, I was sleeping on my stomach again. Yeah, the first two days, two, three days were painful. But other than that, it's been a breeze. It's easy to clean. I'll insert a clip on how I clean my belly button. And I have purchased like three other belly rings other than the one that I got from the piercing shop. The first one I bought was this one from Claire's. Don't wash my ugly nails. I bit them off because stress. So the first one I got is this one from Claire's. And uh, I mean, I like it because the, the, the gemstones are colorful, but other like, you know, they're not, it's... I just wanted a belly ring that had a little detail at the top, so I got that one. And it's, it's all right. I've had it for a couple months. Yeah, I think I bought it in like April, May. I think it was April, May, around that time. And um, not my favorite, but I would rather wear it more than this one. So this one I also got from Claire's, but as you can see, it is rusting. And you know, I'm not putting no rusty jewelry on my um, belly. Like clearly, yes, I didn't dry it off properly, but I won't be using this anymore. I have to look for some really, really good, durable belly rings. So comment down below where I can get some. This is like a little mini haul of what I have backed up then the last one that i purchased was this from shein you could check out my video my little vlog that i did my evening vlog that's when i got the package for that belly ring and that is by far my favorite i used to really really enjoy this butterfly one but obviously it's rusting out and i don't want to put it in and 
it should not hurt to change your belly ring if it hurts you're probably not healed you should not change it you better put that other one back in i feel like i only started to wear more crop tops and stuff because i have my belly button pierce i am a graphic t-shirt girl i love me my graphic t-shirts but you know i switch it up a bit wear my belly out because i really 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 love this piercing i like think like probably besides my nose this is my favorite piercing and i don't have a lot but i plan on getting more as soon as places open up because piercings are just fire lately it has been oozing a little bit but I guess that's because I haven't been cleaning it properly. And my soap that I've been using in the shower, I guess it irritates it because it's scented. You shouldn't really be using scented soaps. I, when I first got my belly button pierced, I was using the Dove, the Dove regular bar soap, the, whatever that, yeah. It didn't affect it or anything, but I switched my bar soap to the, the Shea Butter one, whichever one that is. So it kind of gets irritated now. And I also started back using shower gel and I also started back taking bubble baths. Obviously I don't take them as often as I used to, probably like once a month to de-stress, but I don't take bubble baths as much as I used to because I don't want anything to go wrong with the piercing. I want it to be fully, fully healed before I start doing all my regular activities to a regular rate. I would have to say that my personal experience with piercings is that they don't heal fast my nose took like a year and a half to heal my rook it's only three months and she is giving me a mess and my belly piercing i would say that it's almost completely healed even though it's been a year and it should be healed by now but you know everyone's healing speed is different mine is clearly very different and i have sensitive skin and all that stuff so things heal at a different rate for me um but yeah i would recommend cleaning your piercing as to your piercers um directions my piercer told me twice a day for two weeks so that's exactly what i did and then sometimes once a month I would clean with an antiseptic soap and you know just get all up in there make sure you dry off your piercing every single time you take a shower please like every time you bathe your skin please dry it off completely like really go up in there because that could also slow down the process because the moisture and all that just makes the bacteria grow and you don't want that because that could lead to infection you don't want an infection i don't know if mine is infected or not but i do what i can to try to make sure my belly button doesn't fall off <laughs> this piercing is so cute i if you watching this video this is your sign i'm sorry if your parents don't want you to do it but if you want to do it do it do it because i i swear to you piercing your belly button is top tier i don't know what it is but i felt like no one could mess with me when i got my belly button pierced on a real or no Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little one year summary update on my belly piercing and I am absolutely in love with it. I do not regret it, not one bit. And I plan on keeping this piercing as long as I possibly can. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, subscribe because, you know, you, you will enjoy it here. Check out my other piercing videos, like my Rook my nose other updates and because i have the playlist linked below and see you in the next video